In the first part, Jens Cicilski and Johann Dietrich will introduce the advantages of the digital twin. Afterwards, Franziska Hüttel will explain how your resource management can be optimally designed in the work preparation. So welcome, Johann. Thank you, Judith. When it comes to digitalization, many people have digital twin in mind. But what does it mean for a company producing with CNC machines? First, we would like to introduce you three different parties in the CNC process that are involved in our examples. We have the NC programmer who creates and optimizes the part programs. The machine operator who prepares the clamping situation in the machining area, run in the part program and finally monitors the machining process. Often the company trains its own skilled worker. A trainee must learn how to operate the machine but what do they all have in common? Each of them wants to do their job as perfectly as possible. Let's take a look at the NC programmer first. He creates an NC program for the corresponding machine. The question is, how does he know that the created and optimized part program will later run on the machine without any problems? Let's first take a closer look at his work. He has to write the program and make optimizations. He still doesn't know whether the NC program runs properly. Afterwards, the created program is sent to the machine. The operator must run in the program slowly, block by block, so that no um, collision occurs during this process. He may discover any optimization potential or even errors in the program. In this case, the program then returns to the work preparation and then back to the machine again. Several loops can be performed. On the one hand, this means time-consuming searches for errors and optimizations. And on the other hand, it means a risk of collision in the work area. Wouldn't be nice to have a virtual image of the machine to outsource programming, optimization and collision to the virtual world? On the one hand, this would mean higher efficiency in program creation and running in processes since several loops from work preparation to the machine and back would be eliminated. And secondly, higher productivity in overall production due to the minimal machine downtime. Jens, do we have a tool, such a tool? Yes, Johan. The easiest way to meet your needs is to use a virtual CC control or a run my virtual machine. Here you can create an NC program as it knows from the machine, for example, with Shopmail. After that, you can verify the NC program in the integrated simulation system. That looks good, but what about a program which is generated in a CAM system? Of course, you can also read a CAM generated program into Run My Virtual Machine and test it in the simulation. So you are sure that the post processor uses the correct NC syntax. It looks like a great tool. Thank you, Jen. Next, we take a look at the machine operator. Usually, a machine operator has to take many things into account during running in and production. Among them are tools like diameter, tool holder, loading into the machine, etc. The clamping devices have also been taken into consideration, like type, size, fixing, also and others. The row parts must also fit the climbing situation and of course have the correct oversize. And things like an offset are also important so that the machine knows where the workpiece is located in the workspace. So you have to think of quite a few things. However, if the machine operator forgets something, unpleasant scenarios can occur. Wrong offset, wrong tool, the clamping situation doesn't corresponding to the planned machine and many other things. 
isn't there a tool to get these things out of your head and into a system where all this can be tested in advance? So that you can concentrate on the essentials and let the machine produce. This would lead to fewer interruptions in production and crashes only happen in the virtual world where no part of the machine can be destroyed. Jens, do we also have a tool for that use case? Yes, just have a look at what do we need for this. First of all, you have to create a setup with a specific clamping situation. For this, you select a clamping device from an imported 3D file. Then link this to a blank, which is used for the manufacturing, and place it into the correct position. After that, load it into the simulation and start your program to verify your NC program. Interesting. Then let's simulate the program. With pleasure. Let's have a closer look how a machining of the NC program is displayed in Run My Virtual Machine. On the left hand side, you see the familiar user interface of our machine, the Xenomeric Operate. On the right hand side, you see the 3D simulation with workspace. This is exactly how you stand um, in front of the machine, and you have a clear view of your uh, machining process. So you can quickly and easily check your machine movements, words, clamps, tools, fixtures. Impressive, isn't it? It is. Definitely, you not only have the digital twin of CNC, but also of your workspace. Last but not least, we um, address another important challenge. Are you sure, are you safe enough for ANC start? By the way, it not only affects the trainee. When the NC program brings a new program to the machine or switches to another machine. When machine operator makes corrections to the part program. If the trainee is not yet confident in using the machine. Always then a first run in, in other words, a NC start, is very risky. Even a small thing could cause a collision in the workspace, which could result in damage of the workpiece, tool, or even the entire machine. Wouldn't it be more effective to occur and see this damage in the virtual environment before pressing the NC start on the machine? Because there you have an infinity number of attempts to do something wrong and try it out. And the machine remains productive without crashes, long downtimes, and you get faster to the finished workplace. Jens, is there a tool to do that? Yes, if the machining process becomes a bit more complex, it is more important that you are able to see possible collisions in advance in a simulation, because then you can avoid them by appropriate programming or by providing the correct setup data at the machine. In this example, you can see that the chosen tool is not ideal, but we let finish the simulation and taking a closer look at the end of this program. Within the appropriate correction and verified by Run My Virtual Machine, you should save enough for an NC start. Right, Johan? Definitely. It's a safe environment to test your progr programs before you get to the real machine. There are actually a number of other examples. In short, we would like to bring you two more examples. Imagine you need a new machine. What machining technology, what cycle times, what kinematics should the machine have? You try to address your requirements to the machine manufacturer, but this can lead to misinterpretations and later the machine may not meet the requirements, your requirements. Wouldn't be more effective if you could reflect the requirements together on a virtual model and discuss different machine concepts? This will avoid negative surprises in the final machine development stage. Sometimes there are situations on the machine that cannot be simulated in advance. For example, if a machine operator interacts directly in the workspace or moves axis in jock. Wouldn't it also be fine if the familiar simulation from Run My Virtual Machine 
could also run online on the machine to avoid collisions. Then, the previously created clamping situations and setups could be taken over directly on the machine and can be reused to protect the machine with Protect My Machine 3D Twin. So, we have learned that Run My Virtual Machine can help in a number of ways. From offline NC programming and verification without several interactions with the real machine. For a fast and reliable run-in process with shortest machining interruptions. And for efficient and safe education without machine collisions. Use Run My Virtual Machine with Cinematic One. So thank you very much. So as we have just heard, an NC program can already be verified with the digital twin in such a way that it can run virtually directly on the machine and greater effort is avoided during running in. Now let's see how production continues. Franziska will now take us on a journey to see how the processes in production can be optimized based on such NC programming. Hello Franziska. Thank you for the introduction, Judith. So, we already learned from Jens and Johan how the NC programmer can provide better programs with the digital twin. However, in addition to the NC programmer and the roles who were already introduced, other colleagues on the shop floor are involved as well. So, let's have a look how digitalization makes the daily work easier for the NC programmer, the machine operator, the tool presetter and the production planner. First of all, the question is how to get the verified NC program to the right machine. The NC programmer has stored the program on a network drive. Normally, he would, for example, copy it to a USB stick and give it to the machine operator at the next opportunity. But isn't there a more efficient solution for this? With a program management software, such as Manage My Resources, the created NC programs can be imported from the network drive to a central server. The NC programmer can then assign the program specifically to the desired machine. And he can also provide the machine operator with some instructions for machining via a comment function. The machine operator can simply download and open the program di directly on his machine. What is the advantage of this? The NC program could be transferred safely, efficiently and without manual effort. Let's now assume that the NC program has been transferred directly to the machine and the machine operator has got a first, first overview. Now, the next thing he wants to know is which tools he needs for this NC program and where he can get them from. He asks the production planner. The planning of tool requirements is one possible entry into the entire tool cycle, which is supported by the software Manage My Resources tools. Let's have a look at the details of this step. To produce the new workpiece, the tool requirements for this job must be determined so that the machine operator's question can be answered. Like which tools are already on the machine and which need to be measured and assembled. If the so-called balancing is carried out manually, that means without software support, it can look like this. The machine operator receives a tool plan, usually printed out, which he looks at and compares with the tools on the machine. If he discovers that further tools are needed, he goes on a search in the available cabinets. And if he cannot find what he's looking for there, he turns to the tool presetter. This involves a lot of walking and manual work steps. So how about using software instead to effectively plan the tool requirements? This would look like this. Based on the tool plan provided in the application, the balancing is carried out for the respective machine. And as a result, we learn which tools are already on the machine and which are still missing. With simple means, it can then be determined which tools are already available somewhere on the shop floor. 
and the tool presetter can then prepare the missing tools exactly when they are needed. Therefore, the use of management resources allows a reduction of tool buffers through this just-in-time logistics. The automated process massively reduces the manual effort for determining um, the required tools and also the search times and walking distances of employees are minimized. And finally, the machine operator's questions about where he can get the required tools are answered. As you could see, management resources was used to easily determine which tools need to be preset. The tool presetter is supported by the software in such a way that he knows exactly where he finds the required components in his warehouse how high the stocks are and how these need to be assembled. After the assembly, the tools are measured, usually on a tool presetting device. And the tool correction data is automatically transferred to management resources. The tools can then be assigned to the cabinet or machine where they are needed. Therefore, management resources knows the location and the correction data of the tool. After the tools have been brought to the right machine, it is now time to set up the machine. Loading is done separately for each tool. After manually entering the correction data at the controller, the operator starts loading, goes to the door, brings the tool into the machine. And the same applies to the unloading process. And these steps for loading and unloading are repeated for each individual tool. Again, the question is, how could this be optimized by appropriate software? By means of a so-called transfer list, all the tools that need to be loaded can be selected on the HMI simultaneously and then loaded to the machine. Of course, there is also such a transfer list for the unloading process. The locations of the tools are automatically updated in the application. And the correction data associated with the tool is automatically transferred to the machine. This also eliminates the risk of incorrect manual input, which in the worst case could lead to quality problems. Now that all the tools are there, the machine operator can start machining the workpiece. Often one machine operator is in charge for several machines at the same time. And of course, he makes sure that only sharp tools are used during the machining process. This becomes especially relevant in a series production with high tool consumption and yeah, high number of tool changes. Usually the machine operator goes from machine to machine, opens the tool management at the HMI and analyzes which tools have which remaining lifetime. He then tries to estimate which tools need to be re replaced in the near future. And after checking each machine, he prepares for a possible tool change on this machine. So how about a central overview in the production department that shows which of the tools are in which condition. By means of this color coding, it can be seen at the first glance when an early warning limit or even the end of the tool life has been reached. If possible sister tools are available, it is indicated where they can be found. And compared to a manual check at each individual machine, this saves the machine operator a lot of effort in terms of walking distances and search times. And of course, it can be ensured that the right tool is available exactly when it's needed. Let's now assume that one tool is worn out and needs to be replaced. The machine operator has taken a sister tool and now goes to the machine to replace the worn tool. To do this, he first selects the tool on the HMI, then he goes to the door, removes the tool from the machine. The new tool, um, the new tool's correction data must then also be entered manually into the control system. 
Afterwards, he starts the loading process for the new tool. As you will see right away, manage my resources can also help to save effort here. With the user dialogue for the so-called one-to-one exchange, the removal of the worn and the loading of the new tool can be done in one process. This saves walking distances, manual effort and time. And of course, the software automatically transfers the correction data in the background, as shown before. Especially in processes with high tool con consumption, the setup process can be speeded up considerably and of course errors can be minimized. You have now seen the tool cycle and how Manage My Resources can help to optimize it. Throughout the cycle, a lot of data is created, so it would make sense to continue using this real production data. Manage My Resources automatically collects data for each tool, like when it was brought to the machine, when it's changed into the spindle and by which Active and C program, and also how much machining and how much idle time are required. This gives, for example, the NC programmer the opportunity to further improve the machining process based on real production data. As you can see, another cycle for optimization can start. So, dear listeners, you could now see how job preparation can be optimized by a centralized resource management. You can get the right NC program and tools to the machine at the right time. You can speed up setup processes and you can reduce storage costs. We are glad if we could give you some starting points, how you can also increase productivity on your shop floor with the digitalization solutions that we just presented. So thank you also to the three experts here and thank you for your attention. Goodbye. <laughs>